Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Modern Dog Training. I really appreciate it. My name is Drayton Michaels. I'm a dog trainer behavior technician. Today we have a nice little session profile with a five month old long haired Dachshund named Louie. His guardian had reported he was barking at people and dogs and he was very hard to walk. He would stall and he was generally stressed. Let's take a look at this session and hope you enjoy it because I had a great time training with little Louie. Let's take a look. Come on, big guy. Let's go. Come on, you're okay. Yes. Job. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're okay. Come on. Pull the feet. There you go. Yay, good boy! Yes! Yeah. Well, again, that's what I call being humanely assertive. And then yeah. you notice when I got here, I paid him. Yes. Right? So I'm giving him reward for giving me steps. Yes. I would prefer to pay him while I move, but he's a little stressed, so I'm going to stop for a sec. Yeah. Come on, bud. He's walking now. Yeah, let's get to the grass. Good boy. So you see how quick he's moving? Yes. Because, you know, you bring him over here. Yes. Well, it's because you said the word white, yes. So you might want to say, okay. I have been using that word a lot. Right. Yes. So you might want to, in our conversation, either not say easy. right or okay or gotcha. Okay. Okay. Something that's not the marker. So again, I pay him when we get to the grass. Right? The grass is going to have a lot of scent. Got to keep your eyes peeled for stuff so he doesn't pick it up. But... Again, you know, I wasn't dragging him or getting upset. I was just moving and he wasn't flatlining. Right. Right. He was moving his feet, so I kept moving. And you want to let him gather as much scent as possible because that's mentally stimulating, it's reinforcing, it helps him acclimate to his environment. Uh -huh. So, you know, and while he's down here gathering scent, you can take stock of the environment, see what's going on, see if any dogs are coming or people. Right. Good job, buddy. Ready, come on, let's go. Come on. You got it. You can move those little legs. You're okay. Boop, leave it. Yeah, don't eat no styrofoams. Good job, buddy. Come on, kiddo. You know, dog walking is an eight limbed event. So it's his four limbs and my four limbs, you know? Yeah. And I gotta be sensitive to what he needs to do, which is gather scent. Right, he does a lot, of, he likes to stand around and sniff. And well, that's okay. Yeah. You know, again, fortunately you have a dog that if you needed to, you could pick him up. Uh, yeah. You know, if you had to get moving. Which when is, he gets really crazy, you know, say somebody is, there's people, I do pick him up well, you because wanna, I can't get his attention. You want to yes and treat him when he sees people, all people. Yeah, I've been doing that. Okay, good. You know, and he may blow off the food if they get too close, you know, because yeah. he likes people. He likes people. Yeah, he, he does like them, but he's barking at them too. That's okay. Dogs bark. But if you're marking and paying him, the nanosecond he orients to those people, you'll see the barking go down. Oh, there he goes. Oh, good boy. Doing the PPs? Yeah, try not to, to praise him until he's fully done. I know, I was thinking he'll, that. Because he'll clip the stream on you. I do do that. Right. All right, kiddo. We're gonna pick you up over the puddle here, though. Okay, we're not gonna make you walk through the puddle. Come here. Yes! So I'm gonna mark and pay him because we're getting close to the 
Well, this is where he starts to get a little right. Like he doesn't like the he doesn't understand the cars. Well, he's scared. Get your smells, good boy. There you go. Get your smells. Good boy. Yes. No, no, no foods. Come on. Good job, up here, bud. So I'm just gonna come away from the street a little bit. Right? Yeah. And again, like here comes a dude, there's somebody over there um, watching us in their car. Right, we got all these tra all this traffic here. Want. Right, so what you wanna look for is he is he gathering scent or is he playing the environment? Yeah. Right now he's gathering scent, but he's playing the environment. He's doing a lot of air sniffing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a person coming up from behind Right, step over here a little bit. There you go. Let's keep that camera on us. Yes! Yes! That was so good because, it, like, when I walk in, he barks at the person. Right, because more likely, here comes a bike. So I'm going to move a little bit. Come with me. Right, I'm just going to come away from the bike a little bit. Stay right there. Yes! You know, I think I need a thicker leash. You know that? Yeah, well, the other thing too is you notice that there's a jogger across the street. So he might catch that jogger. But now he went back to gathering scent. So that's a good sign. It means he's settling into the environment. If he was really scared or stressed, he would be looking around. Exactly. So we might catch this jogger here. He might see her. He may not because he's so focused on the scent. Yeah, he didn't even care might catch this truck. Yes! Right, so he didn't want the food, but he's taking the scent. So dogs will choose their own reinforcer, right? Mm -hmm. If there's enough scent available, they'll take it. See what's going on here with this person. And we got the jogger that went by. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we had the woman, yeah. she stopped, she stared, talked. she talked. Yes. And the jogger went by and he stayed under threshold. The other thing that I'm doing is I'm cupping my hand with treats. Okay. So I'm not just, there's a big stress shake, right? A lot of activity for him. So I'm not just like handing him a treat and then trying to talk to him about stuff. I'm just marking Y-E-S and I'm giving him all this food at once. Uh-huh. Right? So I'm kind of- How much are you giving? You're giving kind him Kind of like jackpotting him. Oh, wow, you're giving him that much? Well, okay. I'm letting him take what he wants. Okay, He doesn't okay. have to eat at all. Right, right, right. But, you know, and I'm cupping my hand like this. Yeah. So I'm cupping my hand like this so he doesn't have to go to the ground, right? There's a lot of it. Yeah. Right, so I'm yes. really paying him. Yes. You know, when I've walked him, I can't even get him to eat. Wait, one second. Right, well, leave it. Right, he saw these people over there. Yes! Go 
Good job, buddy. Yes. Good job. Oh boy. You're doing really good. <laughs> Comes another lady to the, well, that's why I charge people money. I know. Comes another lady down the street. You know, the other thing I would do is I would walk him hungry. I wouldn't feed him before I take him out. You know, I would structure it so that he eats on the walk. Here comes right. a little a lady jogging. Yes. Yes. Right, and see, I'm not wasting any time, right? I'm just marking and paying. He goes right back to gathering scent, which is good. You having a good time, huh? Here comes another lady to uh, our right. And I'm not pointing them out. I'm letting him notice them. Right? Yes! Popped off the marker that time, which was nice. Yes! Yes! Nice, he's popping off the marker, that's great. So you're you're saying Y-E-S when he's... Orients. Yes! He... So as soon as he orients to the person, I'm just okay. marking and paying. Yes! And I don't care if he gets a little bouncy and happy. Uh -huh. Who cares? Right? All right, let's go back. Woohoo! Right, because we don't want to have diminishing returns. Right. Stop while we're ahead. Always end on a high note. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, dog across the street. So again, you know, your whoop, your biggest uh, your biggest tool in your toolkit is awareness. Right. Yeah. You wanna you wanna take a look around and see what's coming. Look how fast he's moving now, right? Because he knows he's going back. Yeah, yeah. Well, he is he's sort of like, want, he does that. He gets excited to go home. Yep. And well, pulls. Well, that's okay. You have a 10 pound dog. You can just walk a little quicker, right? Yep. So we'll debrief fully when we go inside, but okay. es essentially the difference between myself and everyone else is, I pay better attention, I mark right away when the dog orients, and I offer the food right to him. I don't yeah. wait for them to come back and take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. And like I said, I'm giving him a full handful to choose from. And, you know, I've got it broken up so he doesn't have a big piece to contend right. with. So there's, there's a lot of little factors that, you know, are going to add up to success. And you know, I also worry, like, I don't like pulling him too much because well, of his, because I'm being adopted and stuff, but. Yeah, well, you shouldn't that won't pull hurt him. him, will it? You shouldn't pull him, but you should learn how to be humanely assertive, right? Like, yeah. I didn't pull him, no. but I just moved and he moved with me, right? Right. Now, I would do the exact same procedure if I had a 90 pound Rottweiler. Yeah. It would just be a lot more challenging. <laughs> okay.